Find the centroid of the right triangle of height h and width b. The first thing we want to know is what is the formula for the line that goes from here to there. We can use y equals mx plus b. The, the general slope of the line is going to be minus h over b, rise over run, and the y-intercept is going to be h. So when x equals 0, we get y equals h. Use a vertical differential element to do the drift differentiation. So my differential element is going to take pieces, slices like that so that dA is a width of dx times the height of the rectangle. So dA is h minus h over b times x dx. Now by definition the location of the centroid is the integral of x dA divided by the integral dA. If I plug in what I just said for dA, I have the integral from 0 to b of x times h minus h over b x dx divided by the integral from 0 to b of h minus h over b x dx. Evaluate the integrals, you'll get 1 half x squared h minus 1 third x cubed h over b evaluated from 0 to b. And in the denominator you get hx minus 1 half h over b x squared evaluated from 0 to b. That's 1 half b squared h minus 1 third b squared h divided by bh minus 1 half bh. I've got 1 sixth b squared h on the top and 1 half bh on the bottom, which is 1 third of b. To find out what the y bar component is, you have two choices. You can go back and you can use a horizontal differential element, or we can stick with the differential element we had up at the top. In either case, your formula is the same, the integral of y dA over the integral dA. I'm going to use, actually, the same differential element, the same vertical differential element. So I'm going to be integrating dx, and I'm going to have h minus h over b x. From, that's my dA component. This y that I'm going to integrate is the distance, it's the coordinate, of the centroid of my differential element. That's going to be important. And in the denominator, I will have the area, which I just figured out up here, is 1 half bh. I don't have to take that integral again. What is the value? That's dA. What is the value for the distance, the distance or the coordinate of the centroid of my differential element? Well, my differential element is this vertical rectangle, and my centroid's right in the middle, halfway up my differential element. Well, halfway up my differential element will be 1 half. All the way up would be h one-half of my height, one-half of y, divided by my area. You can multiply that out and take the integral. One-half h squared b minus one-half h squared b over b, b squared, plus one-sixth h squared over b squared times b cubed over one-half bh. This is one-sixth of h squared b divided by one-half of bh. So y bar is one-third of h, because everything else cancels out. Make very sure that you understand what that means to say it's the coordinate of the centroid of the differential element. So this term would have been my entire height of the differential element, but I only want to go halfway up my height of the differential element to get to the centroid of my differential element.